Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, yeah, today I'll be doing my Big Bash uh, predictions uh, for the, the 2022 slash 2023 season. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. Um, coming in, uh, this is my ladder, coming in at 8th spot um, with an uh, interesting, interesting position compared to last year is the Brisbane Heat. Um, this is mainly due to the loss of Chris Lynn. Uh, I think Chris Lynn is a massive loss for the Brisbane Heat, even though he wasn't doing much in the past two or three years. Uh, but it's still a pretty big loss, in my opinion. And um, despite their squad looking quite strong, um, I don't really see who's going to really power the Heat this season. Uh, sure, the pickups of Colin Munro and... Um, and Sam Billings have been humongous for them. And even Kawaja, when he will come in, uh, if he comes in, they'll be good. Um, but the pickups have been great. It's just they normally sit behind a person that really powers them. And for me, Kawaja would be the perfect person. But he's busy in the tests, so they need someone else. Labashane can't do it. Um, so I reckon either Max Bryant or... Matt Renshaw has got to really, really step up with the bat uh, for the Brisbane Heat to have a decent season. Uh, but yeah, I'm just not too sure about the Brisbane Heat. And I think they'll get some wins, uh, but not enough. Um, coming in at seventh spot, getting the exact same wins amount as the Brisbane Heat, but just a little bit less, uh, is the Melbourne Stars. Um, I see the Stars... Coming in 7th, mainly due to the loss of Glenn Maxwell, uh, who'll be out for, I believe, the whole season now, um, which is actually really, really huge for the Stars. Um, I don't think Marcus Stornis can do it all by himself. I mean, he may have some help from, like, Joe Clark, who is like a... He's getting better. He certainly is getting better. And, you know, we may see him giving some help. Um... Trent Bolt is a huge pickup for them as well. I reckon he'll have an outstanding season for the Stars. Um, coming in at sixth spot uh, is my team, the Adelaide Strikers. I do think we'll miss out in the finals. And, yeah, only one place lower than last year. But a big difference due to finals. Um, yeah, I just don't like our fixture, to be honest. Um, they're in, they're, it's in a bit of weird times. I've gone ahead and looked. At our fixture, you know, it's it's very, very odd. And um, a bit unfortunate, the timing for our fixture. But, yeah, sure, Chris Lynn is going to be a big ad for us. And same with Adam Hose. I reckon he'll be really good too. You know, the help out with her old and um, Matt Short as well. Once Head and Kerry come in, it's going to be great. Um, but, yeah, I think Rashid Khan as well, he'll be good, Wes Agar, uh, Peter Siddle, if he can, uh, you know, stay fit, he may be able to have a big impact, uh, for the side this season, and uh, Henry Hunt, he, he's getting better each year as well, uh, but not quite good enough to get into the finals, coming in at fifth place, just scraping ahead of the Adelaide Strikers, uh, is the Sydney Thunder, um, I think lots of people have been putting up the Thunder low or high this season. Um, like, quite low. Like, bottom three. Or, like, top three. Um, but I reckon they'll just have a mid-year, you know. Scrape into finals and not do much. Um, Alex Hales has got to step up, though, with Kawaja out. I mean, it doesn't really matter because he'd be playing in the test, even if he was uh, playing in the Big Bash. But, yeah, he definitely needs a new partner. Uh, a big loss of Sam Billings as well. Uh, I think that's going to be a pretty big blow for them. Uh, I'm pretty sure David Willey might not be able to play. I, I don't know, I've heard something. So maybe he won't play. Riley Rousseau is going to be a huge, huge ad. And I reckon he's going to have an amazing season, a stellar season. And if David Warner can get into the side, maybe he can make an impact in the finals series. Um... And I'd like to see Alex Ross do something too uh, this season. That would be quite interesting. Uh, but yeah, coming in fourth spot is the Melbourne Renegades. Um, 
Renegades have not been good in recent years, but something about them this year. They've got a good, young, good list this season. Uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing them play. Uh, you know, you got the big top banners at the top. you got Finch and Maddinson, Marsh, and... Um, they've even added Peter Hanscom to their wiki-keeper list. So they've got such a good list. You, you know, you've got the youngsters and Fraser McGurk, Harvey, Harper. you got Hosen, who's a brilliant bowler. Same with Prestwidge. Richardson, they've even added Majeeb, who's just amazing. Um, but they've got such a good side that I don't know how they're all, they're going to fit all these players in. They even got the big Dre Russ. I, I I didn't even remember. I just remember just there. Marcus Harris as well. He won't be playing in the test. You wouldn't think. Jonathan Wells, another huge ad. Maybe I'm being a bit harsh on the Renegades. And they've got Gup Till. That's another big pickup. For them, I think I might be having being a bit harsh. They've even got Run One Far Prasid Kelip. I've never heard of this guy, um, but they've they've got such a good list that they probably should do better than what I'm saying. I thought I was being really nice to the Renegades, but they probably should do better. They've got a great list, um, absolutely superb. I can't wait to see the Renegades play. They're, they're really exciting when they're good. Um, and third, I've got the Sydney Sixers dropping off a little bit. Um, but yeah, still a pretty strong side. Very, very similar to their side from last year. You know, you got the big ones at the top and, uh, Moses Henriques and Philippi and Hughes and Vince, um, which normally carry their side. Um, and then you've got, uh, you know, those spinners and Steve O'Keefe. Uh, you got Chris Jordan, uh, Jackson Bird and Ben Dorcius should have an impact. Hayden Kerr has been really impressive. Dan Christian, Jordan Silk, Jack Edwards even. They've got such a good list and, you know, they've got a few players that normally play in the tests that don't normally get a game, like Sean Abbott, for instance. Nathan Lyon is another one, for example. Um, also believe they have Hazelwood and stuff like that. Um, you know, once they come back, it'll be good, uh, to see, um, which is quite exciting. Um, but yeah, uh, coming in at second spot on the ladder, and I think this is a pretty, pretty big, uh, improvement, um, is... Uh, the Hobart Hurricanes. Um, it's quite interesting, to be honest, to see um, the Hobart Hurricanes because, you know, they're a good side, um, but they're going to be humongous. Like, I, I just can't wait to see them go because, you know, they've got those big hitters um, that can really, really fire up their games. And, and they've even added some bowling depth to their side as well. Um, which is definitely going to help them out. And, yeah, I'm really, really liking their list. Um, by big batters like Tim David, Matthew Way, Caleb Jewell. They've got Asif Ali, who's a big pickup for them. They've got Zach Crawley, Darcy Short, of course. Uh, they've got Nisham, Ashworth. Uh, they've got Shadeep Khan, which will be very, very exciting. They've even got big boy Ben McDermott, who is a big, big, big hitter. Um, and, you know, they've got them great bowlers and Meredith and Alice, um, Stan Lake. You know, uh, it will be good to watch, I reckon, this season, the Hurricanes. And, uh, yeah, I've tipped them for second. But first, the reigning premiers from last year, Perth Scorchers. Um are going to come first. Uh, I can't wait to see Faf Duplessis uh, bat for the Hurricanes. He, uh, for the Scorchers, sorry. He's going to be absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see him in action. Nick Hobson as well. That's another great pickup. And, you know, um, they've got those great players that always get it right. Ashton Turner, for example. Mitch Marsh. Josh Inglis. Um, they've even got... Um, Peter Zoglu, Tymel Mills, Matthew Kelly, Jai Richardson, Berendorf, 
Ty, uh, Hardy. They've got so much uh, bowling depth to the, the Scorchers. Um, now, my tip for the finals. I think the Renegades will beat the Thunder uh, quite comfortably. I think the Sixers will beat the Renegades just. And then I think the Sixers, in a bit of an upset, will beat the Hurricanes to go into the grand final. And unfortunately for the Sixers, just like last season, they lose to the Perth Scorchers. I think the Perth Scorchers will win the grand final again. I think best on ground for grand final will be Josh Phillippe. I think the best player of the season, or voted best player of the season, will be Riley Roussel for the Sydney Thunder. Could be a bit random, but I reckon he will also get the most runs for the season. Um, getting just ahead of uh, Josh Phillippe and Marcus Stoinis, uh for the Sydney Thunder. And most wicket taker will be Majib Rahman. A big pickup for the Melbourne Renegades. And I can see him uh, yeah, doing really, really well next season, which will be great. Um, hopefully, hopefully, that's... That's for sure, hopefully. Um, but, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Look like it'll be a good season. Uh, and, yeah, hopefully the strikers can do better than six, which is where I've tipped them.